Theta Clark had a baby and died during childbirth and wanted to leave something that would change that for other people, and that was the beginning. Our primary goal is to provide you know, the best patient care that we can, and that's not changed since she had the vision or dream of that hospital. My first flight was on June 4th, 1986. People often ask, how can you do what you do? And I kind of think, how can we not? So many people need help. It takes a lot of people to save a life, and we do save a lot of lives. And I work with so many people that's a collective effort to provide the best care possible, and I'm very proud of that. We have our own unique population down here. You know everybody, and everybody knows you. You get to know people for, well, in my case, 30 plus years. Um, and you get to know their kids, you get to know their grandchildren. What's the most exciting is when you see the patient come back and they're doing well. Early on, healthcare was very different. In the 18, middle 1800s, late 1800s, most physicians had their own home that they used as a hospital. Fast forward to the 1950s, technology is changing a ton already. Not just in Wapaka, but in the entire United States. Federal government, states were involved in as far as what a hospital should be comprised of. This was a purpose-built building for a hospital and for good quality health care. You had uh, your in-house x-ray and, and your, your surgical suites and so forth. It was, it was a pretty big deal. And it was um, run by the sisters. We had a resident chaplain. The books were kept by hand. And they were always behind. But the patient care was always good and, and done with kindness. And it was a good place to work. So. You know, when people look to move to a location, I think there are three things they look for. They, they, they want good schools, they want good banks, and they want good health care. And I think this hospital, over, over the many, many years it's been here, has provided that third piece extremely well. The, the, the service quality is great, the people are outstanding, the care that we deliver here has, has meant a lot to the community, I think, and in helping attract new people, new businesses to this community. My great-grandmother, her name was Louise Dutchman. Her picture is on the wall here as a medicine woman from way back. She lived up in the woods on the reservation, and people would come to her all the time to uh, get healed. As you walk through the building, you can see that they have um, involved the Native American culture within the walls. Having that around makes you feel more welcome. Dr. Haddon and his family would come up to the Wild Rose area to uh, vacation. He loved the area. He talked to some business people up here, and they encouraged him to come. He'd get paid in chickens or bakery or whatever because so many of these people couldn't afford to pay a bill. It meant everything in the world to these people. And then when uh, the hospital it was inspected and it wasn't coming up to what it should have been for the state. They decided they had to build a new hospital. And that's when they started the rally to raise the money for the new hospital. To think of going without a hospital and where we'd have to travel it prompted people to realize how important it was to the community. There was already an established hospital in the area and some leaders from the community wanted to give another option to the people that lived here. They discussed, let's have a hospital that is nonprofit and not connected to any certain religion. They had no money. Everybody went out to contact businesses, contact people in the community. We sold bricks, we had car washes, we had bake sales. People just wanted to have this hospital, and they've invested not only their money, but their efforts, time and effort. So it had a real feeling of this is our community hospital. 
I think what I've seen um, that's just astounding is how much technology can help us get better. We do procedures today that when I started 30 years ago as a nurse that we didn't even think were possible. I love what we do here. I love what we do for our patients and our community and how important it is for us to do things well because they count on us and they depend on us. Safety, equality. Talent. Family. Excellent patient experience. Personalized touch. Community. Dedicated. Here to serve. Peace of mind. Families first. Heritage. Expert local care, 